welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Tonight, we're at Disneyland for an After Dark event. We're here for Pride Night. It's the first time they've ever done an event like this in the park, and we're excited to have some fun with our friends. We're gonna have the best night ever. We're gonna celebrate the community and eat some food, see some characters, and show you what this night is all about. So how about you come along with us? On this adventure. First things first, we went through the turnstiles, got our lanyard, got our wristbands, and we are officially here at Pride Night 2023. This is the first sponsored Disney Pride event that they've ever done. There's been gay days, which are unofficial in the park that have been going on for many, many years now, but this is the first time that there is a Pride Night sponsored by Disney. It's so exciting. It's a momentous occasion. There are two dates for Pride Night this year. We're here on opening night, June 13th. There's also one on June 15th. Let's take a look at this complimentary guide map. Look at all the food. Look at all the rainbow colorful food. I hope we get to try some of this tonight. I'm so freaking, oh my God. Oh, it's so pretty. They should have the map rainbow colored always. They should. As you can see, we're all rainbowed out today and we're excited to be here to celebrate with our LGBTQ plus friends and family. And our channel is a place of inclusion, a place of love, a place of openness and happiness. And Positivity. Yes, if you have a problem with that, feel free to unsubscribe. Yes. We're gonna have an amazing night tonight and I'm just so happy. This is gonna be so much fun. I don't. I honestly don't think we've ever dressed more colorful in our life. <laughs> Normally I'm like all black, but I'm even wearing glitter tonight. It's yeah. gonna be fun. <laughs> you know what, the happiest place on earth is gonna be even more happy tonight because it's inclusive. Look who we ran into. Hello. Are you on the wrong coast? I am on the wrong coast. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> You're here to have fun. I am here to have fun. Look at my eyes, they're glittery. We're here for Pride Night, guys. <laughs> First up, we made our way over to Red Rose Tavern because they have what they're calling the rainbow gray stuff. And what this is, is rainbow white chocolate mousse, lemon cake, and raspberry on a shortbread base. This was one of the like, the food items that I was most excited to try. So we ran over here first before it sold out and I am so happy that we got it. So the dominant flavor is definitely lemon. It is so good, so creamy. Oh my God, is there something in the middle? Wait a second. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. There's multiple layers here. It's not just the mousse on top. There's a different texture in the middle and it is so good. Five out of five. It even has a little rainbow on it. This is perfect for Pride Night. That matches your sweater. Yeah. Breaking out the cookie on the bottom is the hard part with the gray stuff. It's good, but super lemony. It's like lemony times, they had a dial, they put it up to like 15 out of 10. I like it though. Five out of five beaters. Ordinary Adventure Star. And I got the spiced beef loaded potato bites. This has tavern potato bites, chili spiced beef, cheddar jack blend, avocado sauce, and pico de gallo with cotilla cheese. Tavern potato bites, they're just tater tots. Oh my God, that's so flavorful. Why is the after dark food always better than the normal food? What the heck, Disney? <laughs> it's because we're paying extra money. That's, that might be why, I don't know. Five out of five, Peters. Both of the items here have been like home runs. I feel like you can't go wrong with, what are they called, tavern barrels? <laughs> you can't go wrong with tavern barrels. Tavern bites. Mmm. You know, we weren't originally gonna get this and I'm so happy we did. Ordinary Adventure Star, bomb.com. Good evening, friends. And welcome to Disneyland After Dark Pride Night. Show the love in the party and let the celebration begin. I don't know the words. 
Next up at Jolly Holiday, we got the rainbow trifle. This is layers of multicolored cake and mousse topped with a Mickey chocolate decoration and it's glittery and it looks amazing. Let's try it out. Oh no. There's even some balls in there. Balls are good. <laughs> you never know when you get dessert that looks pretty. Sometimes it doesn't taste good. This actually tastes good. It just basically tastes like a, a cake and a cup. But I like it. I'll give it a, a four out of five, Peter. Yes, get him, get him. <laughs> Come on. I don't, yeah, get him. <laughs> This is already the one of the best after hour events ever. <laughs> mm. This one basically just tastes like vanilla cake with buttercream frosting. Between this and the, the rainbow gray stuff, that the rainbow gray stuff was definitely better, but this is so beautiful that I'm gonna give it a four out of five as well. I can't get anything less. Oh my god. Is that Kylo?
awesome. That was so much better than I thought it was going to be. Normally the cowboys used on these after hour events are like one car going down the street. I cried. And that was so cool. I'm going to follow it like behind my leg. <laughs> that was incredible. As someone from Florida, we would never get something like this. And it just fills my heart with so much joy to see everybody here just being able to be themselves and just be happy. There, there's, there's no other words to describe it. I want to cry right now because this is all just so magical. It's incredible. That might be my favorite parade ever. How great was that? I mean... This is one of the best nights ever to park, for sure. The vibes here tonight are unbeatable. You talk about vibes. This is the vibe night. This is the vibe night. I can't cry anymore. <laughs> now we're on a mission to see characters, maybe get some more food. What did we find? We found Hoo Hoo, the Wandering Oaken. Wait, happy Friday, friends. And they did that meet and greet, Oogie Boogie Bash style, where you just like walk by and see them. And right when we were meeting Oaken, Anna and Elsa came out, so we got to see them as well. I love that we don't have to wait in lines. Anytime you don't have to wait in line. Th this event is awesome. And over in Frontierland, we found Donald and Daisy. The backdrops here are, are pretty cute as well. It's love in the air. I'm telling you, the vibes tonight all around the park are just so cool. This whole video is just going to be me like in the background like... We're walking towards Galaxy's Edge and I was just thinking how cool would it be if they were playing like ABBA in Galaxy's Edge? Do you, what do you think? What are, what are the odds? I don't think they're going to do it. You never told me the we'll odds. We'll find out. Hi there, how you doing? It's good to see you. Well, thank you so much. I love that big characters are just walking around. This is wild. Tonight is wild. They have these photo spots all throughout the park that are called inspiration spots and it's really cool it's like a background from a Disney movie and then it has an inspirational quote from the movie I like that this is the least amount of people I've ever seen in Galaxy's Edge ever it's so empty in here that you can actually hear the sound effects of the, like aliens talking above <laughs> so empty in Galaxy's Edge, but the only place where there's a crowd is outside of Oga's because Oga's is open and everybody wants to get a drink to celebrate. Where's C-3PO? We've been looking all over for him. Do you know where he is? You don't? Or you just don't want to tell me? They don't know either. I'm sorry. So the one character we've been looking around Galaxy's Edge for is C-3PO because he's supposed to be meeting and greeting here somewhere, but I don't, we walked all around the outpost, didn't see a single droid. I do think it's funny that for Pride Night, that they, they supposedly were an C 3 po meeting and greeting. But where is he? I don't know. No, we met c 3 po once before at 80s night. He's a chill dude. I was really hoping to see him tonight, but we got a lot more stuff to see, so let's get out of here. It's really amazing what Disney can do with just like some, some lights, like turning this into a rainbow ridge. Rainbow Ridge. <laughs> I love it. You know what Adrian called it? He called it Pride Rock. <laughs> I stole his joke. Okay, I think I found my favorite photo op of the night. Right by the Mad Tea Party, there's a teacup that you can sit in and it says, spill the tea. Happy Pride. And we're gonna go over there and spill, spill the, the tea. tea. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Spill the tea. Spill that tea. <laughs> Let's go. 
I think my favorite dance party out of the dance parties tonight is the Ohana dance party. Stitch has been out three times now. First as a cowboy, now he's back out as Elvis. And earlier I also saw him out with Angel. So he's doing costume changes. The audience is like so into it. It's awesome. Over at Launch Bay, they have a special magic key holder souvenir of the night, which is this really cool Disneyland After Dark Pride Night drawstring backpack. I feel like normally when they do the magic key like giveaways, it's like a little poster. They're never that exciting, and this is this is really cool. Bye, Stitch. Oh my God, he got such a workout. He needs a break for sure. I wonder <laughs> if he has a magic key. Okay, do you think he's going to get his magic key bag? Smart. Oh my god, we found C-3PO in Tomorrowland. Who knew that he was here this whole time? Over in Tomorrowland, they have a cereal-flavored milk pretzel. This is a cream cheese pretzel dipped in cereal-flavored milk and topped with cereal. And you know me with the cream cheese pretzels. This looks amazing. I'm not sure I can pick it up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut into it. This looks like the either the best idea of all time or the worst idea of all time. That's a man who's seen God. <laughs> I don't want to see what color my poop is tomorrow. So this has both Fruit Loops and it also has some marshmallows from like Lucky Charms on it. So sweet, so awesome, crunchy on top. Five out of five, Peter. Is there any doubt? I'm going to say right now, order. I'm not even going to Kitchen. Ordinary Adventure Star. Also in Tomorrowland, there's a sour cherry churro. This is rolled in sour cherry sugar with cream cheese drizzle topped with cherry popping candy. This is really good. It tastes just like a standard churro, but it has the tartness of the cherry. And then these pop rocks make it all the way down your throat. They just keep popping. <laughs> like I, as I said that, I felt one like come up. I'd give it like a four out of five. They're still going down my throat. <laughs> Everybody's having an amazing time tonight, including the cast members. So in Tomorrowland, they have two characters from the MCU. They have America Chavez, who had two mothers, and they have Fastos from the Eternals. Was the first gay kiss in the MCU, which was a pretty big deal, and it's awesome that he's here. It's a wonderful night. It's filled with love. I can't complain. My son Jack and my husband are out there having fun on all the rides. I'm over here doing the work. I can't complain. It's good, it's good seeing you over here not in the campus. You know what? I, I've done a lot of work over there already. I thought it was time to spread the love. Plus, my son Jack kept telling me he wanted to come to this place, so it was a win-win. Yeah, right? Is he enjoying the rides right now? He is enjoying the rides. He's been on the teacups four times already, so hopefully I'll be able to join him before the night's over. Are you having a good night? Yeah. Excellent. To have something like this where People like me can come and feel love and feel accepted. It's such a beautiful thing and it's so important because everybody matters. We all, at the end of the day, are the same. We're flesh and blood and we all want love. And so, Disney, thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. I'm not gonna cry. I know, you're making me cry. Are you, you're making me cry. <laughs> to come and celebrate with people who we love, and, and what a beautiful event, honestly, they did a great job. It's so gorgeous and yeah. it's so chill. And let me tell you something, people are yelling out outside about us, but we're in here and all we have is love. So, spread the love. Yes! <laughs> and make sure you guys like and subscribe yeah, to Ordinary <laughs> Adventures! Good <Good-night>, RJ. <laughs> the Adventurous RJ, check me out on Instagram and YouTube. Where am I off to? Wherever, my dear. I love the cavalcade so much that we're seeing it a second time. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers.
After Dark event was so much fun, and I think it's a lot due to the people here. They have brought an energy that has elevated this event from cool to like incredible. Yeah, I had an amazing night. I can't wait to come back next year. Hopefully this is something that Disney does every single year. Yeah, if you want to see the last time we were here for an After Dark event, that was Star Wars night. We'll put the video right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons that include Tiffany, Bailey, Velcro Kid, and Taylin. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.